Blackpink, Kill This Love, Domestic Abuse. What is going on? What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I got another video for you today. This one is going to be more along the lines of a serious topic. So I'm just gonna skip past that usual intro video that I usually do. But anyway, so the K-pop community is no stranger to controversy. Nobody is safe, literally anything can happen and things will blow out of proportion. And I was looking through some articles and one that popped up on my recommended, which caught my eye, was the fact that now Blackpink killed this love. When they put out some concept photos, the ones of them being bruised and banged up, now everyone's associating that with domestic abuse, domestic violence. And this is going way ham. Like, after those concept photos were put out, because at this point, we understand what Kill This Love was about. You know, a toxic relationship, something that you should get out of. But coupled with the fact that their concept photos were them bruised and banged up, immediately everyone associated that with domestic abuse and domestic violence. And it was so negatively received by the K-pop and just internet community. And this has just gone out there like everyone's on like a witch hunt to what like what is going on they're calling out yg and everything for being completely tasteless and insensitive to this like situation now before i get deeper into this video if you are i'm gonna say this flat out if you are one of those pe like people out there who are just absolutely gonna listen to me for this first half and just jump to conclusions and put me on the cross put me on a witch hunt and flame me and you know you're gonna come at me with the you only supporting them because you like black pink and you're supporting domestic violence and you just get out of here right now just flat out honesty because I am going to look at this as objectively as possible and look at both sides all right now that we've gotten past that I just need to get that out sorry so taking a look at the teaser photos I mean sorry the concept photos which I'm gonna put up somewhere along the lines you can see that the girls are pretty beat up and first I'm gonna vouch for like the side of domestic abuse you know the ones who are really against this so i can understand where a lot of people are coming from this was actually kind of a yikes moment that was poorly matched up so you have the song kill this love a lot of the lyrics were you know this isn't good for me no matter how much i try to leave blah -de blah -de blah all that shazam and you can tell that the lyrics are of someone who's going through a very tough time in a relationship very like highs are there but it looks like just a completely toxic relationship and yeah so that's what kill this love is about so people got that they're like oh okay but you know it's a strong song so empowerment to those who are going through that to leave you can see that in a lot of the you know the symbolism in the video that's what i was trying to say for example rose and she tries to hit herself with the car that's obviously the part that doesn't let go and the part that wants to so getting back to the point being banged and bruised up compared to like with in relation to this type of song a lot of people are gonna think domestic violence and i don't know why they decided to do that that was a horrible pairing and a yikes moment and i can definitely understand where the connection is made for people like like who've been through it which is what a lot of people have also been commenting like those who have suffered through it this is bringing up their memories like this is the heavy association for those who have suffered through it and mind you domestic violence is completely horrible like no one should have to suffer through that trauma emotional and physical trauma so seeing those kind of concept photos oh i think someone in the office didn't really think that one through and i'm 
if I read that correctly, that's uh, it went through like 10 people, okay? So no one said that was not okay. I don't know what the thought process was, but in also recent news, the producer and writer, um, Becca Boom, I think that's, she also put out a statement saying, like, definitely this was not supposed to be that way. She wrote the song that through the ups and downs, through toxic relationships, she wanted to empower people that they should leave that kind of relationship. The high is not worth the lows and everything. And people are still going off and it's absolutely crazy how far people will go and take it. Again, definitely understandable in a sense that you do not post. There are just things that don't go together. Let's just go with that. And definitely this is something that artists, well, not really the artists, the creative directors and companies should really, really go through. Again, you do not want an audience member to relive a traumatic time in their life. If you want it to be empowering, you should put it in a better light. For example, I could think of one way to do it instead of just the close-ups on their face where they're beat up and looking down. That was not cool, again. But in the music video, you saw like the whole empowered Tomb Raider thing going on. You definitely should have made it look like they've gone like through a battle that doesn't look like it's just one side and they beat up or at least have it looking at themselves to have it symbolize that they're fighting themselves more and that they weren't just beat up and abused. Something, anything would have been better than just the close-up to their face and them looking beat up. All right, now that I've covered that side, let's take a look at the other side. Again, being objective as possible, I'm gonna look at both sides. So in the case of this as a concept, YG and I guess the company have already, and a lot of fans, I guess, have already stated the case. And a lot of people are tending to overlook the music video as well. Because I've seen a lot of the comments that are like, uh, you know, if they're fighting themselves, why are they bruised? Obviously, a lot of what is going on here is symbolism, yet no one wants to look at that. They want to just look at, like, the whole ugly part of the argument, and which is they got beat up by their significant other. But as you can see, as I said in the music video, they're fighting themselves. Obviously, you do not see an entire like different character or male character. It is just Blackpink and the best examples in the symbolism would be that first of all, Rose trying to hit herself with the car. Obviously, the part that doesn't want to let go and she says she's tired of being so weak, I believe, when she's in the car. And the second example being Jisoo. Jisoo is running down the hallway dressed in white, which we can assume to be the pure side that wants to believe, that wants to hold on to that. And the darker clothed Jisoo chased herself down and fired a flaming arrow and obviously killed this love and a lot of the other lyrics can, you know, it tells the story. So controversy here is just completely wild because yeah, on one end, what was like YG and like the whole company thinking when they thought that was that was okay to put that like concept photos, just them being bruised up and everything. And on the other end, you can see how the community reacts to something and like how careful people need to be these days. In all honesty, like if I look at it from both sides, yeah, it's like the company's fault for not thinking it through. But on the other end, when I have to vouch for the company too, because I'll vouch for both sides, is just the fact that, yikes, everyone associates everything so negatively these days. Like, a lot of the music video is symbolism, and look at it, everyone was completely fine throughout the music video, just up until the point of the concept photos. And even the producer and everything has stated 
her case and everything, but no one at this point, no one's gonna believe that. But man, now we're just stuck in this really awkward middle ground. Like, who was actually right? But obviously, the K pop community outweighs like the company by hundreds of people. And man, this is something that they're gonna have to try and work through because this is like a scar. Like, this is not something small, you know? This is a very difficult topic to talk about. All right, everybody, tell me what you thought down below if you made it down, you know, if you made it through my entire video. Sorry, this is a more serious topic, and I know it's a tough one, and I, I kind of try to pose my stance in between now. I try to look at it that way. I don't like to take sides. I like to take both sides and think about it that way. I don't like to think one-sidedly. So tell me down below, and I hope you weren't one of those people who just skipped the entire video up till this point and missed all my important points. Again, this is just my opinion. I'm just talking. And again, domestic abuse is no joke here. They really need to think that one over. No one should be put through that type of trauma, like I said, physically or mentally. And no one should be made to relive that through photos that incite those memories back into your head. And that's all I got. I hope you all think about this deeply, but I hope you all stay safe. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Peace.